everyone and welcome to my March podcast. I'm standing here at 15 Rutherford Place, which when the school moved to this site in 1860 was the original school building. This is where it all started. I'd like to take you on a quick tour of the outer perimeter of the campus so I can begin to orient you towards a project that we're contemplating doing in the very near future. Moving around the corner from Rutherford Place to 16th Street, we see the first expansion of the school, this charming building that was built in the 1920s, which now houses kindergarten and first grade classrooms. And this building was built in 1964. It's our primary classroom building, named for Dr. Hunter, a legendary teacher at the school, and was renovated in 2006. And here we are at the three townhouses that have been more recently acquired by the school. Each one has not been touched to make it purpose-built for the school. They have not been connected in ways that are exactly readable. So I am often asked, why renovate? So the point of this video is to tell you, why renovate? Please join me. Overly crowded classrooms. Yikes, sorry. Institutionally appropriately sized bathrooms. Unused rooftop space. Imagine a garden up here that would support our kindergarten through 12 science program. We really need sufficient workout space. So moving from Hunter Hall into the townhouse area, one encounters immediate barricades. Here's a half set of steps that one has to traverse to get into the townhouses. And as soon as you get here to the townhouses, you see another small set of steps. And then through the door, yet another set of steps. With a sensitive renovation, I think this entire space could be made accessible um, and we would advance as a school tremendously because of it. And because these buildings are th essentially three separate townhouses, there are multiple redundancies in systems, including staircases like this one. Uh, there are three. If they were eliminated and one staircase was built in their place, we would have so much more space for student purposes and also have one safe stair that would allow egress from the building. And here behind the townhouses, there's so much space that isn't being used. Not only is there this volume here that could be possibly developed, there are yards on either side here where there's really nothing happening. So to capture all of this would be a huge plus for us in terms of our spaces. The school has been thinking about this project since 2004 when we bought the third townhouse and when Kieran Timberlake, architects from Philadelphia, came in to help us develop a master plan for the campus. Now we're starting to think a little bit more seriously about the possibilities of the renovation and the combination of the properties. And I wanted to share with you some of our ideas and some of the possibilities that would come from this, this project. The school committee still needs to hire an architect. It needs to authorize the project. Um, and I hope it will do that uh, in the near future. Uh, but until then, I wanted to give you some insights and we will certainly keep you posted as the, as the progress moves forward. So thank you for joining me and have a wonderful, wonderful spring break.